and welcome to ISTV English News. I'm Gabby Golme with the news today. First, the headlines. Minister Govindas Kontaujam has asserted that farmers will start enjoy be benefiting with the launch of Phase 2 of sericulture project. And with the introduction of prepaid meter system, electricity department could earn 3 crore of rupees from Pauna Bazar and Tangal Bazar area annually. Now the news in details. Commerce and Industries Minister Govindas Kontaujam has asserted that with the launch of second phase of sericulture project in Manipur, farmers in the state will start benefiting from the sericulture project. He said this in connection with the launching of new website of sericulture project at his chamber and releasing of a handbook entitled Prospects and Potentials of Sericulture Industries in Manipur. Parliamentary Secretary Victor Kaishing, Principal Secretary O Nobokishore were also present on the occasion. The address of the new website is www.seri.manipur.in. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Govindas maintained that the newly released handbook will benefit the farmers a lot. Various guides and directions which suggest what types of plants will be planted to which areas have been clearly mentioned in the handbook. He further maintained that which places will be more suitable to Muga, Oktasar, Mulberry and Eri sector has been clearly shown with maps. He further said that farmers will know more from the website. He also said that the step has been taken up by the department in order to bring more transparency and development in sericulture sector in the state. He also observed that sericulture phase 2 in the state will not only bring development in the economy of the state but also in the status and standard of living of the people of the state. Sericulture, Manipur sericulture project phase 2 se koi ngasi launch to kare department ka ha na de hauna pusam na laga koi silky activities have the mushre ki apoi na livelihood oi re ba adu machine a koi ki state sida economy da kharam khai phagan na bahona bada daita lobi riba farmer singa amuke hena khudong sa phanga na ba a koi direct sima ka website sima a koi launch to jabani adu nai na appeal to jani madi farmer singa chingna ba laita na Aduga department sida makoi ki labor difficulties punna mukshin se department sida lakpiu department sida tanara kanda koi na hona jabasu grassroot level dalai viri ba farmersing sericulture ki activities to viri ba farmersing se masida maximum kudong sabasing se benefiting se koi phangana hona jage with the introduction of prepaid meter system in 2012 by state electricity department. The department can very easily earn revenue of rupees 3 crore annually from Tangal and Pauna Bazar areas. Before the launching of prepaid meter system in Tangal and Pauna Bazar areas, the department could earn only 50 lakhs and 25,000 from April 2011 to March 2012 from a total of 1,121 consumers in Tangal and Pauna Bazar areas. However, after the introduction of prepaid meter system in the area, the department could earn 1 crore 37,076 rupees from April 2012 to March 2013 from a total of 1,833 consumers. The number of consumers have increased to 1,876 till July this year and could get a revenue of 51 lakhs from the consumers. After April to March this year, the number of consumers have increased from 2,150 to 2,912. With this year alone, the department could collect a total revenue of 2 crore and 21 lakhs. During the current year, the total number of consumers have increased to 2,971 consumers from 
2013 only. Apart from this, Imphal Electrical Division No. 1 has increased its area of introduction of prepaid meter system and the number of consumers are also increasing. This system not only helps in giving more power to the consumers but also helps in inculcating the habit of judicious use of power. The department is also contemplating to take up new areas of prepaid system under phase two of the project. A five-day state-level awareness come demonstration program on ritual tradition in Manipur begins today at Iboyaima Shumang Lila Shanglen. Commerce and Industry Minister Govindas Kontaujam, Parliamentary Secretary K. Megachandra and members of other organizations were present on the inaugural ceremony of the occasion organized by Manipuri Inat Kanbaluk. Maite traditional folk songs, Nat Sankirtan, taking care of bridegrooms during marriage, etc., will be discussed thoroughly during the five days program. Speaking on the occasion, K. Megachandra stressed the need to preserve the 2,000 years old cultures and traditions that passed on through histories. He added that it is important to protect, protect the traditions and cultures despite the coming of new changes of trends in the present society. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Govinda said that after the five days discussion on the matter, the future generation will be able to learn and impart the same to others. The minister further urged the concerned people to produce a handbook on the topic. He continued that if our traditions are brought to mixed with external traditions, ours would seem not existed. He further urged the people not to lose the traditions of our society that have been in practice since time immemorial. <laughs> Bishnupur District Police, together with Green Revolution Society Manipur, has planted three saplings in and around the commando complex at Namtha Hilo within the district. Secretary of Green Revolution Society Manipur, Okram Kennedy, SP Bishnupur, Radeshyam, Ranger Officer Bishnupur, M. Kesho, DSP Rameshwar, and former President of MMTA, N. Ibungo Chaubi were present on the occasion. Speaking in connection with the occasion, Okram Kennedy said that Green Revolution Society Manipur have planted about 50,000 tree saplings at 30 different places with an aim to control the climate change. He said that the forefathers of our society used to plant trees in order to save the environment, while adding that the present stand of Umanglai Laikon is the ample proof of it. He further maintained that the society will embark on a campaign to plant tree saplings in order to save the balance of nature. He also admitted that if the SP and AC and DC or respective districts have planted more than 2,000 trees, then it will be of useful in saving Mother Earth and maintaining ecological balance. SP Radeshya maintained that human beings are one of the most narrow and mean living beings on earth. Despite knowing very well that human beings cannot survive without plants and trees, yet unabated cutting of trees and plants are cutting on without any concern for the mother earth. It is like killing ourselves. Time has come for all of us to understand that no human beings can survive without plants and trees and we could inculcate the habit of planting trees and plants to keep the balance of nature. <laughs> Before we end, let's have a look at the headlines once again. 
Minister Govindas Kontausam has asserted that farmers will start enjoy benefiting with the launch of phase two of sericulture project. And with the introduction of prepaid meter system, electricity department could earn three crore of rupees from Pauna and Thangal Bazar area annually. That's all we have for now. Stay tuned to ISTV for more updates.